Hey, what's up, Live Vault Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 1937 Walt Disney animated feature short, or not feature, it's a short, The Lonesome Ghosts, or Lonesome Ghosts. So Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy, uh, the <laughs> guy that we all know and love, dog that we all know and love, run a ghost exterminator agency. So it's called Ajax Ghost Exterminators. And they get a phone call from these ghosts at this mansion. There's four of them, they're lonesome, and they're bored, and they need someone to scare. So they invite the ghost hunters over after finding them in a phone book. And, uh, you know, once our beloved heroes arrive and all, all heck breaks loose, or a, a yuck breaks loose. I'm sorry, I, I love Goofy so much. I have a Mickey, I have a, I have a Halloween Goofy, actually, part of my Halloween display. Look at him, he's from Disneyland, circa 2018. Love, love my Goof. So... We'll put Goofy right here, actually. He can stay. Stay. There we go. So, there's there's pranks and, and shenanigans and ghost powers. And Mickey starts that off by trying to shoot a shoot a ghost with a shotgun. And, and obviously, that's not going to work. It's just, it's, it's fun. It's hilarity. It's fun how they... This came out in 37, right? So this was 90, 90 years ago. 90-ish years ago, right? 85 and change. And so... It's it's neat seeing this in regards to how they hand drew it back then, because there wasn't computers back then. There was no CGI, computer generated images. Those are straight up camera tricks and physically drawing stuff and coloring and, and tricks. So how do you get a ghost to look see-through? And how do you do certain effects where like the floor dissipates but it's really there the whole time? It's just really cool seeing that. Because it's a, it's an art it's a form of art you don't see anymore it's not a thing anymore so it's neat seeing it and getting a having appreciation for where we've come from to where we are now to where we're going so it's pretty cool um, what I do love the most about this short is it's like nine minutes long it's on Disney Plus it came out December twenty fourth nineteen thirty seven I actually looked that up so it's a Christmas Eve show but. It is very, the inside is very similar to the Haunted Mansion, the Haunted Mansion via Disneyland, via Disney World. The, um, one of the first shots of the ghosts, you know, peering out the window, the giant picture window where, you know, the Ajax Ghost Exterminating Company comes to, um, it is very similar to the whole, you know, ballroom scene of the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland, the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. And it's, you know, the staircase that then hooks to the left and there's a door at the end and like, it's just very similar. It's 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 very it's it's neat seeing Disney inspiration from previous Disney projects. So I don't know. I like that Disney aspect. I I should have worn something Disney related aside from having little Goofy back there and Stitch is always to my right. But I'd uh I I could have worn my hoodie. I could have worn a hat. I'm wearing a Legoland hat. I'm I'm not in my my ah. Oh, I have an Oogie Boogie spirit jersey. I have a, I have a Haunted Mansion spirit jersey. I should have worn it. Man, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity, but say lovey, it happened. Lonesome Ghosts, 1937 animated short. Very quick, very fun, uh, very important for historical purposes. But it's a cute little plot too. And obviously, you think Ghostbusters, you know, throughout 50 years after that short came out. Uh, Ghostbusters was 1984, so excuse me, 47 years after that came out. It's, it, that's another weird thing. It's only it was only forty seven years later, and then Ghostbusters came out, and it's very similar. Hunting of ghosts and a hunting of ghosts aspect, very ah, I love it. I love that cinematic history kind of a stuff. Things what inspires, and what can be. It's always a, it's always been a fascination of mine with with storytelling and pop culture. So, Disney, on to the next review. Mitch Mahalo.